What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 26 of our Brentford career mode. And today, a couple games for you with Liverpool and then Wolves. And then we have Tottenham. Should we get to it, we might have some transfer stuff depending on how things go. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it step by step. We may be looking at a right back, depending on Dalsgaard, who we're going to have to just sell off because he's gone in real life. So we're just going to move him along. Um, we also got some scouting report things to look at. Um, as good wants to be involved we'll see raya another player who wants to be involved um but let's take a look at our scouting reports as canos has departed to fiorentina and then we you know can see if other players are going to leave or not but it doesn't look like we're going to get any young players out of uruguay all our players are seemingly coming from england as a lot of these other players from italy and uruguay are just not very good scouts are also not particularly great obviously but we've got a couple of English players who keep coming in as we sign two more there so most of our Academy at the moment is very much English and uh, yeah we're kinda just dealing with it that way we can go ahead and look at the youth squad as that actually disappeared but we'll take a look at the youth squad here our youth Academy and see where everybody's at as the goalkeeper looks pretty decent weak foot of five star um there are a couple players here who are kind of fading like elliot white is a player we can go ahead and release um harris is probably someone we can go ahead and release as well but there are some other good players here who are coming along nicely roman seymour is still growing which is excellent he's getting close to kind of being put in our first team i'd like roe to continue to grow as he's getting close but there are some other players here who can spend a little bit of time growing another left back who looks like he's going to be pretty decent so our academy's in a good spot and hopefully we can go ahead and go forward last episode we were doing a lot with changing the difficulty we hope to have found something and we're going to see what we get out of this liverpool game here one thing i'd need to do beforehand is as you can see a couple of changes in this liverpool side a lot of changes as robertson is playing at left back today um fabinho's in there berg is in there in midfield, Fabinho further back and not Sabitza. Immobile's not out on the left wing. No Salah today as Harvey Elliott's there. Harvey Elliott, a player I really want to play with in a FIFA very, very soon. But right before I said that, I want to go ahead and go to the squad hub and make sure Dalsberg is on the market. Um, we may try and bring in another right back. I'm cool with keeping Nguyamsa here. So, I mean... Oh, his contract's expiring in six months. We'll see if... that. I guess he's just going to end up leaving for free, isn't he? After all that, he's going to end up leaving for free. So let's jump into this Liverpool game. Lineup may change now that I realize that. Yeah, Salah now on the right. Um, Davies at center back instead of Williams. So made it a little bit more difficult on ourselves, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're going to run with the first team. FA Cup. I'd like to do a little bit in the FA Cup, but it's going to be tough. We went out early in the Carabao Cup to Harrogate Town after that awful performance. So we'll see what happens. But let's jump into this. Liverpool, Brentford. Let's go. Nice ball forward. Here's Tony on it now. And Tony can kind of maneuver himself into a little bit of space as that comes out there to Aaron's. Back inside to Embuemo's in a little bit of space now and goes for goal. That's a good save. Good effort from Embuemo there. And the corner comes in, and Tony's going to get the header, and oh, it's going to go just over the bar. It hit the floor and then bounced over the bar. Head down, but a little bit too far there. Bit of space for Salah there, and it wasn't found by Sabitza. Decent ball into Jota, though, who takes that down brilliantly and plays it through. I've switched on to the wrong guy. What a save. What a save from Romero. And that's why he's in ahead of Raya at the moment. Pereira on it now, though. And Pereira can find a good ball. Not quite. Can't quite break. But the breaks are going to be a little bit more difficult for us. But uh, very much a good game at the moment. As that gets laid off to Jolis, whose touch. Not ideal. That's not the greatest ball into space as we lose it. But De Silva does well. And it's very... It's. I would want to say the game's open. It's very much up and down. Not necessarily open. As both teams kind of just attack. Is that going to come into Pereira though? And Pereira's going to score. It's 1-0. 
And we've taken the lead at Anfield again. This has been a good game. A good game for the neutral. Lots of chances. As I said, it's kind of open. Not necessarily open, open. But both teams attacking. Both teams wanting to score the first goal. And luckily for us, Pereira is the one who does it. 32 minutes gone. It's 1-0. It's a good finish from the midfielder. And Liverpool once again at home to <laughs> Brentford, to us. Struggling. As that comes to Embuemo. Uh, I tried to do a trick there. It didn't quite work out as he kind of just pushed it right into Van Dyke's feet. Space out there for Salah. Who hasn't really touched the ball yet. That's a really good ball to Mane, though. He takes it down. Aarons loses him. Space in the middle. I've slid in there. I thought he was going to put it on there. Luckily for us, didn't give away the penalty. I don't ever slide in either. It's a good turn back inside again. And he eventually loses out, but the ball is not cleared as it comes to Fabinho. In a good spot. Oh, lovely turn back inside. Good movement. Fabinho hits the post. And Berg tries to slide it across. It's blocked by Aarons. Comes back. What a, what a block that is. As Mane was surely going to score there. That is a huge block. And the corner comes in. It's punched away. But Fabinho's going to get on to this. And these are the types of games we were looking for. When we were moving the difficulty around. As Salah's on it. Berg tries to get it back to Salah. We can't quite clear it, but Romero is going to luckily hold on to it. But at least Liverpool are attacking today. And while we still lead, it's very much a good game. As that's going to come to Pereira here. It's a nice touch from Pereira. Is this shot blocked by Trent, who did well to come across it. And that should bring it to halftime. Deflection there, but Salah should get to this still. And does. Trying to get a little bit tricky on it, Salah, who's... Been very much a peripheral figure in this game so far. He's pushed way out there. Berg on it. That's a big block. As that ball was going to come into a good spot. His shot's on the turn. Lovely ball to Salah. 1-1. I just said he's been a peripheral figure in this game. And then Salah goes ahead and smashes Liverpool level seven minutes into the second half. Comes to him here. He's in loads of space. It's just the run across. It's a great run. Loses Jolies. And Henry's kind of over a little bit. Just ran into the space. A straight line there. And on the penalty spot. He does not miss. 1-1. And now it's anybody's game. Just stretch it a little bit. It's Awani. Of course, a Liverpool player who will probably never play for Liverpool solely... On work permit. The big st striker, I believe he's Nigerian. And it's just not going to be able to get a work permit, really, as Janelle's on this and slides that out there to Matondo, who's in plenty of space. Matondo clips that in nicely, and it's a decent take there. And played out of play for a corner. Tony there did pretty well as Berg goes off the pitch, and the corner comes in, and Henderson's on, but that's cleared off the line. We slide that across and can't quite do that. Uh, there was a chance that I'd have a long distance shot. Didn't quite work out. Henry did really well to win that there and he slides it forward. Matondo, he's got plenty of pace as that gets played out for another corner. And we keep just slinging these into Tony. He wins them quite often. But this one's going to come out to Embuemo. And Embuemo kind of pushing forward. Tried to squeeze that through that gap there. It didn't quite work out, but it comes to Tony now, who has a shot from distance. That's a good save. And I love these little spells of pressure that are showing up on both sides at the moment. So this is going to come to Matondo. Does well to curl that back inside. Good ball! And Oh, I thought for a moment Pinnock might be able to get ahead on that, but not quite. I do win it back again. Back inside here. Just to Silva. It's a good ball out there to Matondo. To Tony now. And Tony's kind of just dragging Davies with him. Can't quite get it back to Tony. Matondo again, though. And uh, Davies stepped in front nicely. We got a minute and a half to go here as Liverpool have a throw in. Can we? I believe this is extra time as DeVry has come on for Van Dyke. I want to say this goes to extra time. As that gets played forward, can we 
have one more opportunity here. Not quite, as Tony turns into traffic. And the whistle does blow. I want to say this goes to extra time. If we, it does go to extra time, hopefully we have an extra sub. Oh, never mind. It's just post-match interview. Is there a replay still in the FA Cup? I don't... I didn't think there were. Are we going to have a replay? Oh, God, I hate replays. I absolutely hate replays. Jesus. That is annoying. That is annoying. Dalsgaard's a bit surprised. I can't... I just got to let you go. Can't guarantee you games. Not the right game. Raya is upset. Wasn't an easy opposition, easy choice. Janelle, thanks for putting me back in the lineup. I want more from you. That is a lot of players who are, you know, you get to this time of year and players kind of get a little bit unhappy that they're not playing all the time. And this is kind of that area as we sit in eighth, as you can see. And two offers have come in for Tony. One for 41 million from Chelsea, one for 36 million from Wolfsburg. We're going to go ahead and reject both of those. The only way I'm selling Tony is if we get like 60, 70 million pound offers in. That makes at least sense. At least it makes sense is what I meant to say. But if we're going to move players on, we're going to get the maximum amount for them. And obviously we want... I don't want to say I want to move them on, but I want to keep this realistic. And if a 60 or 70 million pound bid came in after one season for Ivan Tony in the Premier League and he had a good year, I believe Brentford would sell just based on the fact that they don't make enough money in general and their model seems to support moving those on. As an offer is coming for Charlie Good from Norwich, we're going to go ahead and just accept that. He's not really a part of the team. 26 year old, 69 overall. It's not really going to get into the team is he as it looks like that liverpool game has been placed smack dab in the middle of the wolves and <laughs> tottenham game so we are not going to get to tottenham today we might just have liverpool again but here we are we've got wolves they are directly above us a win over wolves and we'll move ahead of them and we'll move ahead of tottenham as well but one step at a time wolves are a difficult difficult team to play so let's jump into this brentford wolves let's go Played in to Silva. Silva, that's a lovely clip ball into Tony, who does so well to step inside, and the effort is very, very tame. What a step. Ugh. Couldn't quite finish it off. Nice step inside. Does well to play it forward also. Oh, there's so much space here for Kilman. And Kilman's in on goal. That's a great save. From Romero and then offside from Potence after the fact. That is a big old save to keep this level. A lot of space here for Potence now as Wolves get into the box. Space. And look at all the space there. Wow, what a save. Those two get tangled up on the penalty spot. No one anywhere near them. And then Romero comes up with an excellent save. But you've got to be scoring there, surely, if you're Wolves. This comes out to Connor Cody, who's just kind of backed into Jolies there. On it now is Eniolo at Wolves, which is an odd transfer to say the least. Still haven't won it off them here as Mina's on it, who's just missed that chance. We need to get the ball out here. They're moving it around really, really well. And we finally do. Oh, nice step over there. But we do win it. And Pinnock can bring it the other way. Not a ton of action in this first half as Pinnock eventually runs into traffic. And Aarons can't quite win that there. And they're going to score. Oh, no, they're not. I was going to say they're going to score on a silly mistake on our end. But Romero once again with a really good save. He's been excellent this last episode or two. He's been making some excellent one-on-one -on -one saves. There's Bellarabi here. And I've kind of just gone by him. And that's going to go out. And we're going to win it back. But it looks like we're going to get into halftime. Nil-nil. 
Not a ton of action. We had action just now, naturally. As Embuemo might have a, something to say before halftime. And it's Embuemo. And, oh, tried to sneak it near post. Patricio, though, with a good save. And the corner comes in, headed down. Pereira, De Silva, who's going to have a shot. It's rather tame. And Embuemo can't get the header on. And the whistle goes, which is a little bit harsh, but nil-nil. Decent tackle. Second decent tackle there by Caceres. Plays it out there to De Silva. Now we've got men forward, and Tony's one of them. He's raced right through the middle, and he's holding off Dendonker. Oh, no. He's got to finish. He always finishes those. Tony with a massive, massive, massive chance. Oh, can't quite finish it off. My God. Slides it across here to Bryant now. Plays it out to Henry. It's decent football here. And Tony waiting for the run. And it's going to come to him. And it's Pereira in on goal. Heavy touch, but he's managed to sneak it by Patricio anyway. And we are 1-0 up. A late goal here. Not super late, but we go ahead and grab the lead. These games against Wolves have been very, very tight. And very defensive from both ends. That's a good finish, though. A great run from Pereira. This is last action as I was trying to bring on some pace to kind of open the game up a little bit. But as you can see, it's opened up a little bit there. And on 76 minutes, we have taken the lead. And now Wolves need a little bit of a late flurry. Nicely done, Matondo. More. Here's Henry. And Henry can push forward. There's two minutes remaining here as Bellarabi chases him back. And that is going to go out for a throw. Just got to hold off for one more minute. And we are going to grab the three points and a 1-0, though those two have run into each other. I no idea what's gone on there. One minute only added on, though. And if we can just keep them from getting it up the pitch, we're going to grab the win. And there it is. 1-0 the score. And we are going to come away with the three points and move ahead of Wolves and Tottenham in the league. A very, very, very tight game, but a game we'll take 1-0 the final. A tough, tough, tough game. These games are getting tougher. You're going to have to concentrate a little bit more. And after we move the def the sliders around a little bit, that's definitely the case. I have to be a little bit more conservative the way I bring players out and things like that. But it is what it is. As good has been sold, Dalsgaard approach has been made. Um, get a, a million in the bank. We don't have a ton of money. Don't want to just buy players for the sake of buying players either currently. But let's jump into this game here against Liverpool. We're going to have to make changes. Um, as they've got Mane, Jota, Minamino, and then Henderson, Keita, Fabinho, Alexander, Van Dijk, Davies, and Robertson. They never play two of their good center backs at the same time, which is kind of weird. But there are a couple players who could use a bit of a change. Um... Ingu Yamsa, I think I'm going to bring into the side. What else do we want to do here? Ali Seda, I'm going to bring him in for Pereira. Mitchell can come in. Of course, this is a cup game, and it's a very difficult cup game, but I do want to take it seriously, but I also kind of want to make changes, so it's just going to be that way. We're going to put Matondo out here on the right, and then we'll probably go in with that team. Actually, one more change I want to make. I want to get Guehi in there ahead of Caceres. Um, Guayhi, a player who's starting to move in the right direction. His pace is caught up to Pinnock. His pace is continuing to go up, which is obviously something we want to see. It's his sprint speed now at 78. Um, better sprint speed now than Pinnock. His acceleration at 72 for Pinnock and acceleration at 70. So we can get that acceleration up a little bit. We'll get him in physically into a spot where I wanted him to be before the end of the season. And I kind of want him taking over that role ahead of Pinnock before next season. And he's pushing himself into that position to do so. But let's jump into this. Liverpool, Brentford. It's our second leg. This one will definitely go to extra time and penalties. It is a replay. So hopefully we can go ahead and shock them this time at home. But let's jump into it. Nicely done. Minamino. Here's Keita. Trying to take the ball off him. What a ball out there to Jota. It's 1-0 to Liverpool. That's a great ball. 
A really, really good ball from Keita. As Liverpool lead us <laughs> for the first time all year long. This is the game number three. But that's a really, really good ball in from Keita. A great run from Jota. He's just kind of stepped inside right at the end. Really, really nice play all around from Liverpool. And on 13 minutes, they grab the lead. Nicely done. Jota. That's a really good ball. And Henderson is not going to have the pace to get there, though I give it away right to him. Nice step inside from Henderson. Henderson did really, really well there. It's a stupid giveaway. Just got to get rid. But Jota grabs his second. Henderson did so, so well here. Really, really well. Oh, man, that's annoying. Wins it back there. Steps inside. Just drags it across and then gets the pass out to Jota, who's all alone. Pretty much an identical spot to where he scored the first goal. 2-0 mm. early. We have a lot to do if we want to come back into this. Nicely done. Oh, when he's played it through and Jota's through on goal. Can Ingo Yamsa catch him up? Not quite. 3-0. A hat trick inside 23 minutes for Diego Jota. Or Diogo Jota. Man. This fell apart quickly. The way we've been playing Liverpool lately, you know. And this fell apart quickly here at home. It's a hat trick for him. He just gets away. Ingo Yamsa tried to get there. He can't. It's a good finish. Once again. And a hat trick. For the young Portuguese man. And uh, that might kill the game off already. Oh, that touch is not ideal. But he gets a little bit lucky. That Mane fumbled it a little bit. And that's a great ball forward to Ali Seda. Who's tried to step inside and play that through. Nice ball here. Minamino. Tried to hold off that run. And Keita is going to get away. It's four. Game over, surely. 4 0 to Liverpool. Nabi Keita this time with the goal. It's not Diogo Jota. <laughs> Scored the first three. But they are uh, vent <laughs> getting out their pent up frustrations from playing us this year. And they're doing it all right this moment. That's a really, really good finish. He did well to hold off as well, Keita. It's 4 0. It's uh, a demolition here. Oh, can't quite get enough on it there as they move into the box. Nice play. Good block. Huge block as that comes right back to him. Another really good save. It comes to Minamino and he puts it into the side netting. Jesus. Liverpool trying to add to their four-goal tally and embarrass us a little bit more than we already have been, I suppose, as Jolis has a ball there. What a great ball, and we've scored. Brilliant from Jolis. I thought for a moment that might be too close to Van Dijk. It gets by him. And it's one back. Ali Seda with it. That's a really, really good ball across here by Jolis. Had to be in that spot, and he put it there. That's a really good finish as well. First time from Ali Seda also. We pull one back. Still 28 minutes to go, but we need a couple more to just be in contention. Oh, gone right through his legs on that spin. Nice step. What a ball that is. Jota with his fourth goal of the day. What a pass this is. As Boo's right around here. As Jota grabs his fourth goal of the day. But what a pass. What a pass. This gets slipped in here. Look at this ball from Henderson. Perfect. And then Jota... With a really good finish once again for his fourth <laughs> goal of the day. And they've all been from very similar spots except the one from the edge of the box. But he's had a about an, as easy a time as you will ever have scoring four goals in a day. Jensen's trying to keep up with Mane. That's just not happening. And Jota's in the middle again. And you worry. And he's gotten two. Jota <laughs> scores a fifth. Oh. 
Liverpool were ready for today. They needed to stop giving points away when they played us, and they are making sure that we know who's top dog here today. 6-1. I just stepped back in there to cover it with Mane. He ran right behind me. It's, it's poor defending on my end. It's Jota's fifth with 13 minutes to go. We just need this game done. One more ball forward there to fours as we approach the last couple of minutes of this game as Forrest tries to sneak through, but Trent comes across nicely. And with a minute to go, we are going to be absolutely throttled here today. 6-1 is going to be the score as Jota scores 5. Goes up to collect the match ball. Almost a double hat trick for the Portuguese man, but 6-1 the final. We had two shots all day, so... That kind of brings normality back to the save a little bit as, you know, it's all, it's all going as well as you would have expected it at the beginning of the season. You know what I mean? As an offer's coming for Ratchet, 810k, we're just going to let him go. Off he goes. But yes, the, the changes on the difficulty have come to the forefront and they look at least normal and we'll find out obviously as we continue to go but everything seems to be back in a normal spot we do sit fifth after winning that game but i expect that this should shrink back to normal going forward next episode we have tottenham fulham and leicester of course two teams right around us in tottenham and leicester uh tottenham are one point back villa are level on points and behind on goal difference I expect we'll be right around the 8-9 spot at the end of the season. But, you know, we'll see as Everton have kind of backed off. So if Leicester, that's a pretty big gap now. Eight points between us and Everton and Leicester. But, you know, it is what it is and we'll see where we end. Um, but it's definitely getting more difficult as we go forward, guys. But that is going to be it. I hope you folks, of course, have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.